the inner things are whether you feel you're getting paid enough or appreciated enough for what you're doing, whether anyone listening to you, you want to say things, you want to mean something to others, you want to uh, be important in this outer scheme. You know, you want to feel secure so that you can, you want a home, so you're home so you can go out to work and carry things. So like the inner planets are there, but the main function of Mars, Jupiter, Saturn is this, what have you done with your life? What have you accomplished? Are you always going to not accomplish things? You know, like people who are established tend to think anybody is not accomplished is a loser or they're a problem or something. They're not doing their work. We did our work, so they didn't like, whoa. Um, but this sense of self-discipline, this sense of restraint, this sense of structure, the sense of preparedness, the, your work ethic, your ability to deal with dad, be responsible, take control, and not let other people down or not have other people. You lose respect if other half the people have to do the jobs that you're supposed to do yourself. You know, so there's respect and honor and dignity that come out of dealing with Saturn. There's also dishonor, disrespect, and lack of dignity that come from not dealing with it. The little words, but big implications in terms of our life at any time. So um, when we start to watch how Saturn is affected by aspects or affects by aspects. Um, generally, Saturn will press its responsibilities and the awareness of what, what has to be done and what work is done or how much time there is to do something. It's going to put its pressure, its reserve, and, if, and dump its energy onto Jupiter, onto Mars, onto the Sun, onto Venus, onto Mercury, onto the Moon. It's not so much that I'm, I mean, you can see how the, how the Moon and Mercury and Venus can a difficult moon Mercury Venus would, would it, it make a personal out of it makes it hard for you to live up to Saturn but really Saturn's radiating down and giving you the messages who's listening so Saturn tends to restrict the things we want the way we want to talk you know so for Mercury it tells Mercury to shut up be quiet for a minute for Venus it says you can't you're not that beautiful you can't get everything save a little bit you know it's talking to the moon make do with what you got, you might have to not eat everything right away. You know, so with Mars, it slowed down with Jupiter is, hey, well, think, listen a bit, you know, um, be aware. So Saturn really presents its energy down when you're looking at people, you're going to see how Saturn is affecting each of the planets. Now, Saturn is affecting each of the planets regardless of whether Saturn, you have a specific aspect or not. It's just when, an as, when a stressful aspect comes up, it becomes more of a struggle to deal with. It takes more attention. But it's disturbances to just the normal order. In the end, we don't want to think we wasted our life. We want to think we accumulated something or we achieved this, we achieved that. And there's always something to achieve at any age, at any time. So the outer planets, Saturn does not so much affect the outer planets. The outer planets affect Saturn. So Saturn's the natural order of things. And the outer planets come in and try and change the natural order of things. That's exciting, that's romantic, that's adventurous. Wow, that's powerful. But over a long period of time, if you're not prepared, that's really vulnerable. But the, so the outer, the slower moving planet affects the faster moving planet going down in. You know, it's, I've said it before, it's like, the older brother hits the younger brother who kicks the dog who bites the baby. You know, it, it gets, power goes from one to another. Um, any situation, you have a brother or a sister who's a bully, you, there's your problem. You gotta find your defenses and how to be um, 
prepared to deal with that. If um, you're the bully, you're going to find other people will pull away from you and limit your accomplishments. Well, I think there's more things to say, like the caution, the defense, the restriction, the crystallization, the restraint, the work ethic, the ability to make a job, to complete something, to take on a job, to be, to keep busy, to be efficient, to get respect, to get honor and dignity. These are all Saturn things. And as you're working towards them, you're giving energy to a Saturn ownership. You're making that happen. And as you're going away from it, you're diminishing it. Or it's being, it seems like it's being diminished. But we put conditions. We like to think there's conditions. Why would I do that if I won't pay Venus well enough? If I'm not liked, why would I do that if no one's listening to me? And sometimes there are things you have to do that you don't get paid for to listen to. You know, like when there's a problem around security, who's going to fix it? You have to fix it. You have to work to make it better. You know, if there's a famine, and it's a famine, but you're still going to have to make an effort to do without and pace things and heal things to survive through it. So these famines can come by diet. They can come intellectually. We get um, mentally void of intelligence for a while. Um, income emotionally. If I, I can find, oh, geez. So we're going to go through each of these. But even though Saturn represents responsibility and seriousness, it's about being prepared. It's about making the effort. It's about dealing with the work that you're supposed to do not goofing off from it. So Saturn is not an enemy. It's just the normal order of things that, that people are supposed to work and love to. We, we grew up, we go to school, we get out of school, we try and find a job, we meet someone who pays the rent, what takes care of, can we care, we have kids, can we be responsible for it? I mean, life throws it at us. If we don't have the kids, we don't have the relationship, then we tend to either be working, we can be working too hard, really working hard so we can eventually be established, but often we try and get relationships without those, in spite of those responsibilities. And they can happen, but then it gets more and more difficult to maintain them or to get, be satisfied with them or to be even healthy with them. Saturn's in a sign for two and a half years. Everybody for two and a half years has a similar attitude to responsibility. Probably why most Relationships happen with a couple of year difference. You know, the, the 16 year old is trying to, boy is trying to date the 16 year old girl who's already been going out with his 18 year old brother. What's well, fair? But timing is almost everything. Being able to be on time, being able to have the restraint to it, to not waste things. It's a, it's a really, I mean, Saturn, you're going about, you're learning about a really fascinating planet. We learn a lot from it. We, it's really setting the standard about what wisdom is or isn't. Jupiter's under having to understand Saturn to gain its perspective on how to guide Mars. But Saturn is setting the standard. If we work with the standard, if we're really strong with the Saturn, we accomplish our life. If we're not, we don't accomplish that much with our life. It could be changed just by a little effort. Anything can be changed. It's just we may not want to make the effort, but we usually have to make the effort. And when we do without it, there's a cost for delaying. So things that slow down, delay, restrict, restrain. Wow. Breaks are Mars. But healing them and taking the time to be in a cast, like having this cast for eight weeks, or like or three months. Wow. That's a big restraint. By the time you finish that, usually you're not prepared to be quite swaying so aggressive anymore. Even car accidents, when it's not who hit me, it's how come I attracted, I ran into that energy? How come I wasn't alert enough or disciplined enough to keep myself out of trouble? Or so. So many scenarios happen when the order of things, the regulation, the rules of things are, are break away or are weakened. So many things are, are 
affected by having a good or bad relationship to authority. So it's not how come your dad or you did this to you, it's how come you attracted that dad in the first place. In another lifetime, you may have been that dad, you may have been the dad to that dad. And you're just coming back and still working through it. So, okay. Restraint pot. Anyone that's restraint structure to build a building, you have to have a structure. It takes time to build it properly. If you don't build it properly and put the house up on a weak foundation, a weak structure, the building breaks down. We had high winds a few weeks ago. I was walking down the street and just looking at rows of houses and the tiles from the roof are just being blown off. You know, it's a weak roof. What's it? set to deal with those kind of wins. So usually you get what you pay for, you get what you work for, you get what you, you make the effort for. But sometimes somebody's born handicapped, they're born with difficult challenges and they can't hear right or they can't move easily and they have to make huge efforts just to get little things done. Any little thing that can help will make a, a difference. So at different ages, this means different things. No, if you're weak bones or you have difficulty when you're a kid, when you're a kid, you're a young kid at school, you're going to be the weak one. You're not going to be around. You're not going to be hanging around the kids that are going to be athletic and muscular and competitive with each other. And you'll find other things to work at to build up to use your time so that significant things can be done. It's not a question of good or bad. It's taking responsibility for yourself. It's being restrained, being disciplined. So your self-discipline, your sense of restraint, your readiness to work, your work ethic, this is all Saturn. As that gets strong or weak, it affects authority figures, your accomplishments, it affects everything. Jupiter's so supposed to pick up on it so it can guide Mars to make up, put in the extra energy to make up for weaknesses. Okay. So when we take that, like when you're going in, it's a strong Saturn to the moon, right? It's an outer planet to an inner planet. That's a strong, if there's a conjunction square option, those are significant stress points. If there's not, you still got Saturn to the moon like everyone else, there's still aspect there. It's just not gonna bother you that much. It'll just be there. It's not gonna be an issue you're forced to deal with. When there's a that's conjunction square opposition, you are going to have to pay attention to this, or it's going to be a predominant factor in your character, which you're going to have to work through. And you may not feel like it. You have to do this. You have, so, gee, I know, like, it's like, I was so much older then. I'm younger than that now. Well, I was so worried and upset or serious about things when I was younger. I still some of that, but not as much as then. And then he felt like I mature, maturing. That's the Saturn. Grow up. That's Saturn. But when Saturn is going to the moon, it conjuncts it, it squares it, or opposes it. There's stress around diet, health, feelings of future. So basically, Saturn is going to restrict the feelings. This is going to come from your mom and dad had difficulty providing nutrition and nourishment for you, or even sympathy for you when you grew up. They were had their problems, they're dealing with their things, and you were born in that, your part is their transits. You were born in that, and they 